Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. So, this video is going to be, well, okay, not really like from what you guys can immediately see, but it's going to be starting a little differently. Okay, wait, where'd the pets? There we go. Uh, that was weird. Anyway. That was probably just me being stupid, but anyway, as I was saying, this video is starting going to be a little bit different in the way that it goes. I mean, it's going to be a normal, for the most part, Chrysler building video, like the, what is this, number six now that we're on? Uh, yeah, actually, it's number seven, I think. I don't know. Anyway. It's the elevator. I think it's this way. But yeah, I've actually already done part of this section off camera because, quite frankly, this next section is a bit of a pain, particularly the boss fight, and, well, some of the weapon upgrades that I was making don't make a lot of sense for just using them for really two boss fights. So, to get some use out of the random encounters, I went up uh, seven floors in. And end up getting the last of the trading cards, as well as the AM44, which I have fully decked out using the Super Toolkit and the regular Toolkit to make my ultimate weapon here, Ultima 2. And I also picked up the CR Armor 2 to make my ultimate armor, the Igus version 2. And yeah, I got a lot of cool stuff here. But of course, keeping Rate of Fire 2, we got Tranquilize. Acid, and Cyanide, instant death, as I'm sure I pointed out before. Increased critical chance, first attack, three actions per turn, and of course, burst spray, because why would I not have that? In particular for the boss fight we're going to be seeing here. And on the armor, boost to, the eight, or boost to maximum HP. Of course, still keeping the time or plus four to item capacity. Resist stiffness, poison, darkness, and confusion. Boost to attack power, that's not really that great of one, but it's kind of running out of ideas what to do here. Reduced parasite energy cost for abilities, and uses medicine when HP is low. Only thing I'm missing really is uh, using recovery items when, my, when I'm afflicted with a status effect. And honestly, with the armor, that's not going to happen a lot, and I also don't really carry around a lot of uh, status effect items, so... You know, I'll probably, if I stumble across it, add it on there, but eh, not a big deal. So, with that said, well, once the music kicks in, welcome to the 60th floor of the Chrysler Building. Or 61st. 60th? 61st. <laughs> and as I said, since. Okay, we get it straight away. Since I've already gone through a good portion of this, we're going to be skipping going for the treasure rooms on a lot of floors. Not a big loss uh, to a lot of you, I'm sure, because, well, it's all semi-randomly generated. It doesn't really matter. Actually, I'm kind of curious, since we're passing by it right here anyway. Yep. Okay. So, I was either 6th or 7th floor- Oh, crap, it's a squirrel. <laughs> uh, sorry, as I was saying, since it was about 6th or 7th floors in, and as we've just proved, although I don't know if it keeps the floor layouts the same, I probably should have been paying attention to that when I was going through the uh, different floors. Hmm. Meh. But, yeah. But, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But since it does that, we're, as I said, you're going to be skipping the storage rooms till probably, probably start checking on them around the sixth floor. I can't remember if it was six or seven floors up that I went. But that's going to keep this video fairly short, fairly short and simple. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because something tells me, even with my stupidly souped up gun, I mean, look at that. 358 attack power. I think that's a good 
one and a half times what I had before, and the armor were pretty much in the double uh, what my stats were last time territory, so rock on. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but this, the boss that's going to be waiting for us on the 70th floor. You rat bastards. <laughs> Look at that damage. Uh, anyway. But yeah, the boss is waiting for us on the 70th floor. Whew, they are a doozy. They are definitely a doozy. Not to say that they aren't, that they're unbeatable, but it is not a fun fight in a lot of ways. But, well, we'll see that soon enough. Alright, so 72nd floor. What do we get for the 72nd floor? Well, I'm guessing probably a lot of the same things we got on the 71st floor. Which is to say, random turny hallways that don't only know who knows where they're going. And uh, an abundance of... Actually, there weren't too many random encounters on the 71st floor. So, not complaining too much. Okay, so that was a turn downwards. Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> the most common floor layout. Uh, two hallways down. Into a three-way intersection. Hmm. Okay, we'll put this way to check. But we just saw... This is... Oh. Okay. That's a turn that tells me what floor map we're on. And that's the point where I act stupid and be like, Hey, I think I know what... I, the, maybe they're using the same floor layouts, except all of these start to look the same. Even when you're looking at maps, they're all kind of start to run together by this point. Actually, let's face it, they started to run together a long time ago. But, eh. I'm not going to complain too much. Woo! Alright. I keep forgetting I have first attack. You rat. Well, suppose that doesn't really work here. You dog bastard? Is that a thing? Do people say that is a thing? It doesn't feel like that's a thing people say, but... I don't know. It might be a thing people say. Yeah, it's not so much that I'm paranoid about my health, I just... I don't care. <laughs> I got reduced parasite energy cost, and a uh, high parasite energy total between my level and... Well... Look at the bonus to that. Actually, it's only 163 bonus. Still, that is really good. Alright, so... 63rd floor. I didn't even go for the treasure rooms. These are going a lot quicker, aren't they? Uh, all right, right hand or left hand turn. I know my right from my left. Leave me alone. Uh, anyway, left hand turn and straight away. Okay. A downward turn. A three-way intersection. Okay. Okay, I know what floor I know what floor layout this is. Of course, gotta take all the revives we can get. I think I've only got two in my inventory right now. Actually. Uh. Oh, three now. Woo! And room for 12 more! Which, thankfully, revives are dropped pretty heavily by enemies at this point in the game, so, or, well, at this point in the bonus game. So.
That just did a thousand points of damage to that bear. Whoa. I like my new gun. Have I, have I said that yet? I really like my new gun here. Like, this thing is awesome. I mentioned the fact I, like, never need to worry about reloading. I mean, look at this bad boy. 92 bullets out of a maximum one over, out of 105 bullet capacity, and because I kill things in so few shots, it's like, who cares about bullets? Just shoot things. But yeah, as I was kind of saying, part of the reason I did this, uh, or did what I did off camera, with the whole going through this, grabbing a bunch of items, is because to be honest, like I already mentioned, the boss for this section is kind of a pain. It was also partially to kind of, uh, as I said, enemies drop a lot more revives, or tend to drop revives pretty regularly in this stage of the game. So, there is that. But there's also the fact that it's just, even without, because... Yeah, I mean... Like, not even many point in fighting. But yeah, they said, part of it is the fact that the weapons that I have here, because admittedly the next boss is going to actually use a lot of status effects, so there is that for my armor. The armor tend, will get more use out of like the stuff that I've put into it, but the gun? I, bosses are immune to poison, uh, uh, sleep, and of course instant death. You know, any boss that isn't immune to instant death in an RPG, well, really any game, is just kind of not worth having there unless figuring out how to do the instant death is complicated. Like, I, I really hate the Final Fantasy game, the whole uh, healing magic, insta-kills, uh, boss, or insta-kills undead, because that has led to some of the like least satisfying boss fights in the game, which is like, oh, throw a phoenix down. Especially when Phoenix Downs aren't even that hard to find. Okay. Let's see. We have a dead end or a storage room here. Storage room. That did not help narrow things down at all. Oh, okay, it sort of did. It took me from three options to two. So admittedly, in both cases, going forward is going to be a dead end. We'll go back to the three-way intersection. But yeah. So it's kind of, and especially in this game where you can... The only way you have to apply instant death is as a property on your weapon. It, it really just... Meh. <laughs> it just really kind of defeats the whole purpose of having enemies be... No, wait. No, wait, these two layouts are exactly the same in this section, in this regard. There's like one minor difference that doesn't actually matter. I don't need ammo, because I've got maxed out, and there's no point in reloading my gun quite yet. Okay, then it's here. That's by the elevator. Oh, I see. The difference is if I kept going down, it will lead to a turn that would eventually lead to a dead end, and it's a matter of how long till the dead end. Why do you have these two rooms in the pool of possible rooms? They're the exact same, or not rooms, floor layouts, whatever. But yeah, as I said, a lot of, like, some of the properties mostly on the gun. I mean, spread fire for some of the boss fights with, like, multiple body parts or, you know, different things like that. That one still stays useful. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to turn here, aren't I? Yeah. That one still stays useful. Uh, multiple actions, two shots, the first attack, all of that. Those are useful properties, but, like, the different elemental or, well, not really elemental. I skipped the elemental because... I mean, you can get some bonus damage off of it, but honestly... Actually, I think scan might work. Uh, I don't think so. Either way, 64. Uh, but yeah, it's like, 
knowing which ones and the fact that you, unless you want to carry around and juggle multiple weapons, which is kind of a waste of inventory space if you ask me, uh, there really isn't a lot of point in going for the elemental properties on weapons. So, but the status effects are really useful, so, you know, there is that. Okay. Okay, it's either going to be if I go this direction, either an elevator or an upward turn. And it's an upward turn, which means... I actually want to go backwards and go t and take the down route. All right, no, wait, um... No, wait! I'm stupid. I would keep going forward, stay the course. He was within the target zone. The gun doesn't have enough range. I need to fix that. Actually, no, I don't. I really don't need to fix that. I mean, the range on this is as good as some of the better assault rifles, so I really don't need to fix the range on this thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait what do you mean I don't have first attack? Okay. You all need to die now. Like, quickly. I guess the first attack thing is a higher chance, not a guarantee. Eh, I'll live with it either way. Uh, no, that was the most inefficient way to get to that slot on the menu there. Uh, anyway. But yeah. Elemental properties in this game are really not worth the effort. So... You know, but the status effects are, I mean, any game where you can apply status effects to your normal attack, unless the game punishes you for hitting enemies that are resistant with status effects with said status effects. There's really no point in not having status effects on your weapon. Elemental properties are a bit more of a hit or miss thing, unless you know what you're fighting. They're great to go for. You can kind of add them and remove them right before and right after a boss fight, and you know what's coming, but... Oh, pardon me. Beyond that, they really aren't that useful. But, yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this is going a little quicker. We're already making our way through the... Almost halfway... Almost the... Well, I guess clearing the 65th floor, the 65th floor would be the real halfway point. One thousand points actually one thousand and one points of damage. I how does that even work though? I've got an attack power of three fifty-eight. Maybe is your weapon's attack power multiplied by one tenth of no, because you don't start at ten either with the attack stat, so I I don't know how I don't actually know beyond some very basic details regarding multi shot or like rate of fire how this game actually calculates damage. Did I take damage there? I don't think I did. I think I killed it before the attack actually went off. So yeah, I didn't take damage. Okay, cool. Let's keep going then. And now we turn up here. And. Exit. Okay, and the 65th floor. And, okay, right turn. What is a right turn lead into? Please be something very easy to deal with so I don't have to do too much brain work. Downward turn. I hate you, game. <laughs> I hate you. Okay, downward turn into a right hand turn again. Uh, what do we have over here? Is it an elevator? 
elevator, storage room. Seems like there's gonna be some kind of room or an upward turn. Uh, this is one of those little side. This is one of those little windy path ones, isn't it? Those are obnoxious. All right. go another revive got to build up the stock of those so the next the next boss fight has a really obnoxious attack that you have to deal with that really the only way to actually I think there is another way to deal with it but everything I've read says it pretty much the only way to just have a lot of revives but in playing it it seems like there is another trick to it but I haven't figured it out quite yet Because, well, I don't want to, like, spoil the boss fight, but that's the main thing that's on my mind right now going into this, is the boss fight. Okay, was anyone paying attention to how many twisty turns that was? Uh, actually, wait. It was a multi-twisty turn, side windy path thing. It ends in a three-way intersection, so there's really only one option here. But yeah, because I mean, in this area, I mean, there really isn't anything that we're facing that's, uh, that we haven't seen before by this point. I mean, ratmen, dogmen, bears, lizards, or not lizards, snakes, uh, slimes, like, we've seen these all, maybe not the versions here in the Chrysler building, but we've seen them throughout the game, there's nothing new here enemy-wise. So it's like there, there's not a lot to talk about here, especially since I'm not even getting uh, items. So it's not like I was a like you know a lot to talk about. Oh, that's a good item. That's a bad item. That's I suppose my guns that I'm using here. As I said, the base weapons for them. Which interesting thing I never noticed before. When you make the when you like manu or, uh, blah, blah, when you start upgrading the weapons 36 or six, 66, I can count. Uh, but when you start, like, upgrading the weapons, it seems like there's something that can trigger Wayne to basically say, Okay, this is it. You've made the ultimate weapon. You know, have fun. Because you notice the fact that these weapons have names to them as opposed to just the uh, defaults. And, well, there's a reason for that. It's when I was making them for some reason, like, after I finished all the crafting on it, Wayne turned me like, that is a nice weapon. You want to, you know, engrave your name into that or something? And, well, I did too, because, you know, why not? And, yeah, I kept with the same naming convention. But anyway, as far as the actual guns that I use as the base guns, though, the AM-44 is, I think, either the second or third strongest pistol in the game. But the main thing it has is that it has the highest number, at least among pistols. I think there might be one higher in either assault rifles or machine guns. Could be wrong on that. Maybe, maybe it's a shotgun that has more. Either way, though, but it has like the highest number of slots for a pistol. So, you know, since a lot of well, to me, I mean, I suppose they're you know, going for the absolute highest level. And of course, this is all talking no junk items. Because the junk farming is stupid. It really isn't worth the effort to do the junk farming. I mean, most of what makes good weapons in this game... ...is the stats that you put on them. Wow. I predicted that really well. That's a lot of bonus points. Like, wow, that's a lot of bonus points. By the way, do I have Liberate yet? Yeah, I have Liberate. Okay. I wasn't quite sure if I had Liberate yet. Alright. Actually, nah. I'm going to leave those bonus points in reserve. 
Save until we get up to the right before the boss fight. Uh, but yeah. Because, I mean, it's like one of those things, the base stats don't really matter that much. Because, I mean, it'd be like an extra 20 points to go for the junk weapon. Like an extra 20 or 30 points, I think, for the junk weapon. That's barely 10% of what my total attack power is right now. I mean, it makes it easier to get to an ultimate weapon from kind of a starting position. I completely forgot. What was the route we were taking here? Um... Did that. Um, I was doing the thing, and and like I remember. Oh wait, okay. Now I know what I'm doing. Now there's an elevator here. Okay, I got lost and confused for a second there. Sorry. But yeah, it's one of those things. Like the benefit of the junk of the junk weapons really only comes in if you don't take advantage of actually upgrading and basically crafting your own weapons. So there's really no point in going for that, unless like, I guess in an initial run, because like in an initial run, the base stats of those are significantly more than anything you'll actually find in the game. So during an initial run, I suppose the benefit is still really good. I don't know if it's worth the effort, especially given that in an initial run, your capacity to farm junk is lessened or at the very least it's excuse me a lot more tedious to farm junk so you know make of that what you will uh what was i saying but yeah as i was saying though the am44 it's not including the junk weapon like the second most powerful maybe third most powerful pistol in the game but with a high number of weapon slots it more than makes up for that fact by letting me have all kinds of crazy stuff on this gun that makes no logical sense, but as I'm sure I've said multiple times throughout this playthrough, at least it's better than Resonance of Fate's weapon modding, which, like, oh, what the heck? Come on, you can come on screen so I can actually- Oh, you're snakes. I should have figured you were snakes. <laughs> but, uh... What was I talking about? I saying something about the weapon that, was, that I have here. But yeah. It- Well, I mean, you're seeing how well it's making quick- Like, ridiculously quick work of the enemies in this section of the game. It's a really good gun, so, you know, there's that. All right, and that was 66, welcome to 67. Hey, we're only 30 minutes into the video. Well, almost 30 minutes. Uh, anyway, but yeah, the armor, that one I think actually, yeah, that one I know is a lot weaker than, uh, like there is a notable difference between like the most powerful armor and the, CR Armor Type 2 that I'm, or CR Armor 2, whatever it is I'm using here. Uh, but the C, this is the armor that has the highest number of slots, with 10 total slots. I mean, I, well, okay, I could put something into there that would actually make sense to have on the armor. I just, I don't remember if I didn't have it available, or what, um, okay, one of these is going to be a dead end. Uh, I'm guessing this one. Or that this is the correct direction, which should now be a downward turn. Yes! Aha! Okay, and... And a turn here. But yeah. And, I mean, the armor selection, admittedly, there aren't as many, like, really interesting armor options. Like, the armor options are all kind of predictable armor property stuff, you know, lessened 
I mean, with the exception of boosting attack power, that's not something you usually expect to see on armor. Like, okay, my armor makes me hit harder. How does that even work? But, uh, but yeah, a lot of it is, you know, just basic armor stuff. Uh, oh, because reducing magic costs, uh, or parasite energy costs, magic costs, basically, uh, is also kind of an unusual armor. Oh, no, not really, actually. Hmm. Anyway, whatever. But yeah, as I said, most of it is a lot of kind of basic, you know, kind of general armor stuff. Particularly when you start factoring into the how this game considers its stats, you know, reducing parasite energy cost when a large part of what determines your parasite energy pool is down your armor. That makes sense, actually, even if it might not for other games necessarily. But hey, you know, whatever. And what do we have here? Hmm, random encounter in an empty room. Go figure. So it was seven floors that I went in. God, that squirrel couldn't aim. Couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Actually, forget that. It couldn't hit a barn. Forget the broad side. It couldn't hit a barn, period. Where did I heard that recently? Something I was watching, somebody said that, like, you know, that... You couldn't miss, you know... Like, yeah, I mean, you always hear the saying, you know, you couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, but... Uh... But, like, the idea, like, you know, your aim is so bad, not only could you not hit the broadside of a barn, you couldn't hit a barn, period. Any side. Like, no, it's not gonna happen. You will not hit anything. Like, I, I don't know. I heard that somewhere and it amused me. I, I mean, take that for whatever you want. Uh... Look at all those things dying. Okay, I'm down to 25 bullets. I better reload and put another 80 in the chamber. Seriously, how does that even work? Like, I understand video games just go with it, but I occasionally just like to think, how do certain things work? Because like I said, by Residents of Fate, as cool as mechanically it worked, the weapon modding, it was the most insane thing, because it literally showed you that the guns you are making make no logical sense. Like, if you tried to figure out how to hold them, like, the guns are bigger than the people holding, like, like, it's a handgun, and, like, you have to hold it straight arm out, because, like, you've got so much just shit strapped onto the back of it to add extra properties that, like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't make sense. Nothing about it makes sense. This, at least, like, you can more easily ab abstract the idea in your brain, because you don't have to think about this gun unless you really want to. And if you really want to, you're going to drive yourself nuts, because, like, just, how? How would this work? How? I, I can't even. I'm not sure I really want to, but I can't even. I might be able to odd if I tried really hard, but that's a whole different question. I'm losing my mind, I think. I think I'm losing my mind right now. The repetitiveness of these dungeons is just making me lose my mind. Uh, right turn. Uh, right turn. Okay. But yeah, I, I just... I'm losing my mind. I, I can't even put it any other way. I am going crazy for your entertainment. And yet I'm not even sure if any of you are really going to watch this all the way through. I'm not even sure what I'm talking to at this point. Eh, whatever. I killed them before they even got to come on the screen. Yeah! Uh, 68. We're on 68 now. Uh, so, long hallway here. I should have been keeping better track of things. Eh, yeah, whatever. At this point, it doesn't really matter. This video is going quicker than a lot of the other Chrysler building videos, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But some of these videos have dragged on for like forever and a day. And, you know, that's not necessarily a good thing. I'm thinking I want to go up, and that's going to lead to a left turn, which will pass me by the storage room and the elevator. And first up, elevator, which we'll ignore because we can't do anything with it anyway. And after that is the storage room. 
Hey, storage room, what's up? And we've actually got item boxes. Ooh, boosting parasite energy. That's just sad. <laughs> it, it brings nothing to my weapon even to use it. it it's just sad. I know, this brings more to my weapon. All right, so first things first. Uh, parasite energy plus three. Lap that bad boy on. Next. Here. Actually, no. First. No. First things first. Maybe using the D-pad here, or using the analog stick isn't such a good idea on this game. Yeah! Look at how long it took me to reload my gun. And I just hit circle. I'm stupid. I, uh... Okay, anyway, now that we've done that, and I forgot part two. Oish. I mean, not that the 13 bullets this is going to give me really is going to make a difference, but, you know, old habits die hard, and old habits involve being too efficient for my own good. And just use the regular tool, I don't want to keep the base weapon. It's not doing me any good, it's just taking up space in my inventory. Ooh, a total of three points to my attack. That's not even one percent, really. That was almost not worth the effort. Oh, well, at least the storage room wasn't too far out of the way. Actually, it, it wasn't. It was the exact opposite out of, of out of the way. It is, literally, I could not have left this level without walking by it. the shortest Chrysler building video yet. I mean, we're already on 69 here. Heh, <laughs> 69. And just in case you guys forget occasionally, I am, in fact, completely immature. I am completely immature. Now, let's see, three-way intersection on 69. I'm just going to stop now. I am really just going to stop now. Okay. What do we have here? And that's the three-way intersection, of course. Okay. Hmm. Okay, a quicker way to determine whether this is which way this is. To actually go this way and see. Get a straight away or do I get a downturn? And Am I counting wrong? That shouldn't be what we're seeing here. There's that's not a possibility. It's not a possibility unless we're already on the 70th floor. Uh, yeah, we're already on the 70th floor. I swear we missed a floor somewhere in there. It only felt like eight floors, not nine. But, well, hard to argue with the results here. Intersection. This will be a three-way intersection. We want to keep going to the side to hit the storage room. Because up there is a boss fight. And it's an interesting one. And by interesting, I mean completely terrible. Actually, no, it's not that. I, well, it hopefully won't be that bad, I should say. Of course. And what do we have here? Parakeet, really. Whatever. That stuff is so full of lead, I have to use them for pencil instead. Yeah. And let's see. Uh, looking at the tables here, there's a good chance that this is going to involve at least one treasure box. Um, most likely two. Wow, look at all these items I got. And full recover. Restores all HP. There's 400 HP. And I have... 6 
survives. Hmm, interesting. And... Alright. Completely useless, but not unmore- but not unpleasant. And then you are a monster box. I'm going to kill you. You're going to give me a revive. Come on. First attack. First action. First action. First action. First action. First action. First action. Yes! You suck! <laughs> yes! Hey, at least he gave me a revive. That's that's good right there. Alright. Alright. And revives way too many medicine fours than I know what to do with. And let's really quickly. Where do I want to put my points? Get 29 points. Er. Fifteen here, fourteen on the other. Yeah, but the bonus isn't going to be much. On You're not best offense. Uh, best defense is a good offense. Besides, we're almost at the 400 point mark. Let's just make this as stupidly powerful as possible. Okay. So. Now that we've got this out of the way, let's go face down. The Queen Bee. Now, this might not seem that, that hard of a boss fight here. The main thing we have to watch out for are that attack and the worker drones. Mostly because worker drones can heal the queen bee and also hit us. So we want to kill worker drones, if at all possible. Also, if you do actually get hit by the Queen Bee's attacks, they hurt. And... I knew it! I meant to shoot the Queen Bee, but... And... Bullshit. There is, as far as I can tell, no way to avoid this attack. I mean, I have some theories, but they're all kind of, like, I don't actually know. Okay. No. Hmm. Does it move? No. I remember because I used something else, medic or whatever, yeah. Medic doesn't move defense down. And my best option here is a medicine four. But yeah, there is, as far as I can tell, no predictable and reliable way to avoid that. I've like I've there's a couple of times where it seems like I've avoided it. Yeah, see, because like that's the animation that they it uses when it does it when it triggers the attack. But I haven't figured out what reliably triggers the attack not actually happening. And 
Yeah, it's kind of bullshit. It does a lot of damage, especially if you've already been hit by it. You know, that's like ridiculous levels of damage right there. Okay, on the bright side, we've got her on the ropes. On the downside, now she's just going to be a bitch. Like, I, I don't, I usually try not to swear in these, but really there is no other way to put it. The boss is now deciding just to be an all-out bitch. At least if I remember correctly how it prioritizes what attacks to use. I think it starts using that a lot more. Yeah, when it's almost dead. And Chrysler Key 7. That's all she wrote, folks. The B is down. We got six revives. Eight medicine fours. A full cure. And a stupidly power... Oh my god, that took almost... That took... That took 55 bullets from the super gun I have here. Like, I, I can't even. What? Oh my god. Wow. Okay. But yeah, sorry. I had a little distracted there. Point is, that is the bee queen down. Dead. So much smoother than my previous attempts, but then again, my damage output was also at least half what I was doing here. So, you know, yay for that. But... With that out of the way, <clears throat> pardon me, it's time to bring another video of this series to a close, which leaves us with only one more. Tune in next time, folks, for the big finale, the ultimate battle, the super secret ultimate final boss of the game. This could be really fun, or, my, or not, I'm not entirely sure. The two or three times I've actually fought this boss, it's been very... I haven't figured out a consistent what is going on, like... I mean, one of them was really stupid of me not realizing something and took forever. The second one still wasn't easy, but a lot quicker, but either way, until then, as always... Later, folks.